in this video we are going to see how we can find out the generator sequences for a given convolutional encoder and what is the convolution process so first we have an encoder structure with us over here let me first explain this encoder u is the incoming message bit stream y1 y2 and y3 are the three output bits corresponding to each input bit so we can say that this is a rate 1 by 3 encoder we have two shift registers s1 and s2 over here so the memory order of this encoder is 2 and y1 is directly connected to the incoming message bit stream y2 is generated from s1 and s2 xor operation y3 is generated from the xor operation between the incoming bit and the contents of shift register s1 so how do we find out the generator sequences g1 g2 and g3 these are the generator sequences corresponding to each output bit y1 y2 and y3 respectively y1 is directly connected to u or the message bit stream so we write a 1 over here it has no connection to s1 or s2 directly or through any xor gate so we have written zeros for s1 and s2 similarly for g2 which is the generator sequence corresponding to y2 there is no connection from u to y2 so we write zero over here s1 and s2 contribute to the formation of y2 so we write one and one each for s1 and s2 respectively for g3 u and s1 contribute so we write one and one there is no connection from s2 to y3 so we write 0 over here so this is how we form the generator sequences I have with me a few more encoder structures let us try to write down the generator sequences for these for the first encoder structure there are two output bits so there will be two generator sequences g1 that is going to be since incoming bit stream is directly connected to y1 so it is going to be 1 and there is no other connection so we are going to write 0 and 0 g2 which is the generator sequence corresponding to y2 so we can write 1 0 1 for the second encoder structure that we have over here once again we are going to have two generator sequences g1 and g2 y1 is connected between the incoming stream so we write 1 over here it has no connection to the first or second shift registers it has it is connected to the third shift register so 0 0 and then 1 for g2 which is the generator sequence corresponding to y2 so we are going to write 1 for this connection 0 again 1 for this connection and 0 so it's going to be 1 0 1 0 finally for the third encoder that we have over here there are three output bits so three generator sequences there are three shift registers plus one incoming bit so there are going to be four bits for each generator sequence y1 is going to be 1 1 0 0 it is only connected between the incoming bit and the first shift register so 1 1 0 0 g2 that is the generator sequence corresponding to y2 1 1 0 1 so we write 1 1 0 and 1 g3 corresponding to y3 there is no connection with this input bit so 0 for that there is no connection for the output for of the first shift register so 0 for that also we are going to have 0 0 1 for this connection and another 1 for this connection so g3 is going to be 0 0 1 and 1 